Hey guys, it's Justin. We're going to do another tutorial. This one's kind of a follow-up, or it is a follow-up, on uh, another tutorial that we did was uh, how to embed an MP3, MP4 player into your website and have it uh, fully controllable to where um, the user can see the songs, change the songs, shuffle the songs, um, adjust properties, value, or, you know, the volumes, what have you. Um, if you're just tuning in on this one, and you want to know how to hide, this is what the question was, was how do I hide that MP3 player on my website? So in other words, when a user clicks onto my web page, music automatically starts playing. They have no control over it. They can't adjust any of the properties, change songs, anything. It's just what they get is what you offer them onto the website. Now you can change it up according to your desired needs of what songs you want to play first, what have you. But um, for this tutorial, we're just going to go ahead and go into how do I hide that MP3 player and have it autoplay onto my website. So if you're just tuning in or you haven't done this tutorial before, I'm using Dreamweaver, but it um, really doesn't matter what you're using. I, I, it's pretty much HTML that matters, and it's going to fit in with whatever program you're using to implement your web page. Um, this is kind of where we left off before in our last tutorial. I think we had adjusted some of the height and width uh, parameters on this and deleted all this stuff out at the bottom. But I'm going to go ahead and jump in on this. Um, we downloaded this from playlist.com and watched the other tutorial to uh, see how we did that. We just created a song list and embedded the HTML. So here we have... Uh, here we have our fully operational um, MP3 player, MP4 player from playlist.com. Everything works. Um, now we want to find out, hey, how can I hide this? So that's what we're going to do. Go ahead and pause this. Get out of it. I'll close that real quick. I'm going to get back into Dreamweaver. And the first thing that we need to do is if you look at the bottom of my screen down here, let me go ahead and uh, zoom in on that. If you look at the bottom, if I can zoom in, and I'm trying to figure out why it's not doing it. Oh, there we go. Got to push the right button. You can see this. This is where we're at right now. But if I click onto this gray box, you can see that now I have something going on here. And then we come back down to the bottom in our page properties. Now you can see with the play button, you can see that we're inside of that player. So the first thing we're going to want to do, and this is the easy way of doing it without coding, is just click parameters. I'm going to back out now. Click parameters, come in, add a new parameter. And then down here we can go ahead and type in hidden under our parameter tab over to value and under value we can type in true. I'll click OK. And you can see right here nothing really happened right here. If we go into our code view we can see that we added the parameter name equals hidden value equals true. And we did that all with inside of our player right here. So it's all done inside of our player. So if I highlight this player you can see that there's our player and here's our parameter name hidden equals true. So that's another way of doing it. More of the proper way. Now let's go ahead and preview this and see what happens before we save it. We're gonna see our actual player is hidden but we have this stuff down here which I think we deleted in the previous tutorial which I'll go ahead and show you how to do it right now. Now the only reason why that took a little bit for it to uh, start playing a song was because we downloaded that from playlist.com and it takes a second to load so it's kind of redirecting from another site so let's go ahead and I'll show you real quick and that's it for hiding it um, if you're good with that you can go ahead and end this tutorial if you're here and you've done the playlist and you want to see how to do this again all you gotta do is click delete click delete click delete there's all your stuff. You can go up in the code and do it too. Um, then we're going to see that nothing's here. You can go ahead and type a little bit of text here. And down here I'll type some more text. 
Yeah, get outside. Oh. I can go ahead and preview that again. So we can preview it. So we got Hello World. And then in a couple seconds here, our songs are going to start. So, all in all, that's how you hide. Oh, I got to take it off of mute. All in all, that's how you hide your MP3 player. And once again, the user has no control over what they're going to play, how they're going to do it, or anything else. It's just all up to you. Anyhow, hope you guys enjoy the tutorial. <clears throat> Please subscribe or comment, thumbs up, something. If it was beneficial to you, please do something. Don't be a lazy sack. Thank you very much. See you guys on the next one. Any questions, comments, I will try to help you by making another tutorial if you need to see something else done. Thanks, guys.